Good morning. Our thought for today um, comes from Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 56. Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever and ever just as he promised our ancestors. Singing is good for you. I think that not being able to sing in church has had quite a profound effect on us over this last year. I recently watched Military Wives while their husbands were deployed in Afghanistan the, the wives formed a choir to help them take their minds off their worries. It's a lovely feel-good film it's a proven fact that singing has health benefits. Apparently it strengthens our immune system and it makes us feel better all round. Mary is visiting her relative Elizabeth and Elizabeth's child has just leapt with joy in her womb at the sound of Mary's greeting. Mary faces a daunting future. She is to be the mother of God's son. I'm not sure that many of us would have done what Mary does. She bursts into song. And it's not a lament, it's a song of praise. I often wish people would burst into song in everyday life, as they do in musicals. There's something magical about a good musical, even when the music's sad. Music enables us to express our emotions. It helps us to enter into a depth of expression that we can't always find with just words. The Westminster Shorter Catechism states, man's chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. And that's exactly what Mary is doing here. Her song is one of praise for all that God has done in her and for all God has done from generation to generation. And it's also prophetic, praising God for all he will do in the future. Music is important to, um, in the church. It's important to us at COGS. Colossians 3, 16 says, Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish each other with all wisdom through psalms, hymns and songs from the Spirit singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. When we sing together, we build one another up. And singing enables the word of God to dwell richly in us. C.J. Mahoney calls singing take-home theology. I really love that expression. How many of us remember whole chunks of scripture because they're in a song? Well, lots of chunks of scriptures because they're in lots of songs. <laughs> when I was a new Christian, I found it quite difficult to sing some of the songs because I, I couldn't be sure that I meant the words. Did I honestly love God more than any other? Was Jesus really all I ever needed? I used to let the music flow through me and the words would speak to my heart where I mulled them over. And eventually I could sing them for myself because I meant every word. Take home theology. Another reason for singing is that the devil doesn't like it. Just think of the song, I'll raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. Singing helps us in times of difficulty. It's good to be reminded that the battle is God's and it's not ours. Joy and singing are bound together. Often when we sing, our singing turns to joy. 
Our uh, music practices at my sending church were on a Friday night. And the last thing I wanted to do after a long week at work was to go and stand in a freezing church for a couple of hours. But always, and I mean always, every single time, I left that church singing and in a much better frame of mind. It connects us with God. At other times, as for Mary, our t joy turns to singing. I often want to sing at the top of my voice on the top of a mountain like Julie Andrews with my arms outstretched. It's probably just me. But the, the, the sight of God's wonderful creation makes me want to sing. And that's the glimpse that God gives us of heaven in his revelation. He sees people from every tribe, language and nation singing before the Lamb. Imagine what that's going to be like, singing God's praises with countless multitudes. Wow. In the meantime, although we can't sing in church, let's take every opportunity to sing praises to God wherever we are. For years, I asked God to wake me up with a song. He finally answered my prayer when I became Vicar of Crookhorn. Every morning I have a song in my heart, which stays with me throughout the day. Why not ask the Lord for a song every morning? Amen.